to another episode of Steel Creek Explorer. I'm your host, Jeremy Stout, and we've introduced you to the park's turtles before, but this time we're going to get on the boat and hop over to the Rooster Front Park side of Steel Creek Park and see if we can't find some wild and native squamates. Those are the reptiles that include the lizards and snakes. So let's go ahead and hop on over and see what we can find. We boated over to the dam here at Steel Creek Park Lake and hiked over to some of the best habitat where we might be able to find some of our native lizards. And sure enough, here they are. Here in the rocky cliffs are the northern fence lizards. This is a species that's relatively common in our area and it's one of two species of lizard that are common in Steel Creek Park. Uh, the fence lizards you can see here are likely a couple of gravid females ready to lay their eggs. Now, a lot of folks wonder what is the difference between lizards and salamanders. While they can look pretty similar to an untrained eye, the differences between lizards and salamanders are pretty great. Salamanders are amphibians, which makes them closely related to uh, frogs and toads. Whereas lizards are true reptiles, they lay hard-shelled eggs and they have dry, scaly skin. The other species of lizard that is common to Steel Creek Park is the five-lined skink, uh, which we didn't find on our trip today, but it can actually be a pretty common species around your home and in your yards. This is a species of lizard that is oftentimes very dark with light-colored yellow lines going down its back and oftentimes the young males will have bright blue tails. Oftentimes you'll catch only a glimpse as they scurry back underneath your porch or stairs. All right, well while we're talking about squamates, remember that's the group of reptiles that includes the lizards and the snakes, let's move on to everybody's favorite squamates. Let's talk about the native serpents to our area. Yeah, this gets a lot of bad publicity sometimes. People are afraid of snakes. Uh, but in fact, the more you learn about snakes, the less scary they can become. In our region, we have over 20 species of snake native to the area. Of those, only two species are venomous. We have locally the northern copperhead, which is venomous, and we also have the timber rattlesnake. Although the timber rattlesnake is not nearly as common and is actually a threatened species in the state of Tennessee. All the other snakes are relatively harmless and we have snakes that occupy a variety of habitats. There are arboreal snakes, snakes that live in trees like black rat snakes oftentimes do. There are snakes that live underground like the northern brown snake and also uh, several of the blind earth snakes. Uh, we also have snakes that occupy other habitats like the water snakes, the northern water snake. That's the snake that is oftentimes confused for cottonmouths in our area. We don't have cottonmouths, but we do have the northern water snake, which is a pretty convincing mimic of cottonmouths. We also have queen snakes, which spend most of their time in and around water, and many, many more. Snakes, of course, are reptiles like lizards, and they're actually pretty closely related to lizards. In fact, snakes come from ancestors that actually had legs and would have looked a lot like the lizards we have today. Uh, but if you see just the head of a squamate sticking out maybe from under a rock, how can you tell if it is a snake or if it's a lizard? Well, that's pretty simple. Snakes don't have eyelids, or at least they have eyelids that are fixed and they don't ever move. Lizards, on the other hand, actually have eyelids that can blink. So if you see an unknown squamate and you're looking at him in the face, watch him for a while. If it blinks, it's a lizard. If it doesn't, you're probably looking at a snake peeking out from under the rock. Well, this is one of the most common sites that many might be familiar with in our area. This is an eastern garter snake. This is a very common snake in a variety of different habitats. We have them all over Steel Creek Park. They're pretty easily identified by usually being green in ground color with a couple of yellow stripes that go down their back. 
although they can be more brownish and sometimes those yellow stripes can be a little less yellow and a little creamier colored. This is a very common snake. Of course, it's totally non-venomous and they will eat almost anything they can get their mouth around. And here is a garter snake in Steel Creek Park that has found a slimy salamander to eat, which if you'll remember, that is not a lizard, even though it may look a little bit like it to the naked eye. This is called a ringneck snake, and you can see how it gets its name. They have, uh, usually they're gray or sometimes even purple on their back, but they have this beautiful little yellow or orange necklace that they wear around the neck. This one is not fully grown, but it is almost fully grown. They can get a little bit bigger than this, but this is a very small snake. Uh, they eat a lot of slugs and spiders and uh, other little creepy crawlies that they find around your uh, gardens, maybe even around your home. So we'll just turn this guy loose and let him go back to his ring neck business. Now, so what about venomous snakes in Steel Creek Park? Uh, as I mentioned before, in our region, Northeast Tennessee, Southwest Virginia, we only have two species of venomous snake. But with that said, we only have one species of venomous snake in Steel Creek Park, and that is the Northern Copperhead. There are some places in Sullivan County, Tennessee, where you might be able to find some timber rattlesnakes, but comparatively, they are much rarer. The Northern Copperhead is the one that can be found in the park. It is a pit viper. You can see from the pictures here, those uh, infrared sensing pits at the front of the face, which is what gives that family its name. And yes, they are venomous, although stories of this snake are usually a lot more sinister than the snake itself. Like all the venomous snakes, copperheads have venom to acquire prey. They can't constrict their, their prey like black rat snakes can squeeze things. They have to have venom to get their food. Every time they waste their venom on something they can't eat, like us, then that's a meal that they can't have because it's gonna take them quite a while to replenish their venom stores. What that means is, is that venomous snakes aren't out to get us. They're not out to ruin our day. They're not out to, to end our lives. They're out to survive and pass their genes just like everything else in nature is. So if you were to encounter a copperhead in Steel Creek Park or anywhere, just keep your distance and I can just about promise you that snake will keep its distance as well. At the Nature Center, we often hear people tell stories of copperheads in and around their homes. Uh, while I certainly wouldn't say that that's impossible, Copperheads are very specific to their habitats. They like uh, dense, oftentimes dark woods, and they like rocky outcrops. Uh, they don't like high grass, and they don't like manicured lawns. Chances are a brown snake in and around your home is probably not a northern copperhead. Well, we didn't find a whole lot today. Uh, but the great thing about the Steel Creek Park Nature Center is whenever we want to see uh, any of our wild or native snakes, all we have to do is see some of the ones that we have in captivity. And you're welcome to come visit us. We're open seven days a week, almost every day of the year. But remember that all of our snakes, even the venomous ones, are protected by both state and federal law. But more importantly than that, is that all creatures in this world have a very important job to do, even the, the creepy crawlies like the snakes and lizards. And of course, you may see me handle animals on this program, but you should never attempt to handle uh, or hinder in any way any wild animal. But definitely come out to Steel Creek Park because that's where you can be the explorer.